Hello everybody! Today I want to show you EVGA GTX 980 Ti classified graphics card. Let's begin with going through main specs. Base core clock is 1190 MHz. Boost core clock is advertised as 1291 MHz, but in real life home setup it boosts up to 1367 MHz in games thanks to Nvidia's GPU boost technology. There are 6 GB of GDDR5 memory clocked at 7010 MHz, 2816 CUDA cores and 384-bit memory bus. Power delivery system is very strong and efficient using a 14 plus 3 phase design. For your display connection needs, this card offers 3 display ports, HDMI 2.0 and DVI-I. You simply can't deny that this card looks beautiful. Great build quality, premium materials and simple but tasty design. That's why I like most of EVGA's graphics cards. At the front we are met with a black plastic housing and two 100mm fans. At the back there is a brushed aluminium backplate with logos. On top there are two 8-pin power connectors, dual BIOS switch and EV board connector. Letters on this side are lit up by white LEDs. Size is normal. 151mm tall by 280mm long. It takes up two slots, which is very nice for SLI configurations. Like all other GTX 980 Ti's, it supports all the latest NVIDIA technologies, DirectX 12 and the SLI configurations of up to four graphics cards. Let's have a look at cooling now. In my usual test, GPU temperature stabilized at 75 degrees with fans spinning at 44% capacity at 1330 RPM, which is good. No excessive noise to report here. Card became noisy after I manually raised fan speed to 60% and more. There are a few special features of this ACX 2.0 cooler that I'd like to point out. Heat pipes are straight, which is better for heat dissipation, video memory chips and MOSFETs cooling is not connected to main radiator. Instead, they are cooled with a special cooling plate that also provides extra support for PCB. Fans are high quality and they don't spin when GPU temperature is below 60 degrees. It didn't overclock as well as some of the other 980 Ti's I had in my little lab this year, but still managed to hit almost perfect clock speed with 1477 MHz actual core clock and 8000 MHz memory clock. In my GPU leaderboard it is up there with the rest of top range GTX 980 Ti's. I'll leave the link to this page in the description below in case if you want to check it out. In conclusion, I'd like to say that it is not completely clear to me who this graphics card is made for. It looks amazing and is fully loaded for extreme overclocking. But for that purpose EVGA have built an ultimate Kingpin edition of their 980 Ti, which all the pros use to set their records. So I guess you have to be either a perfectionist or a fan who doesn't mind spending a bit more money on something that you like. I'm a bit of both, so I'll be keeping this GPU for my personal use. FYI, I paid for it from my own pocket. I hope you enjoyed this video and will give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. RG out.
My knees are thin. 